What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue. And today we're going to be going over me discussing why I decided to choose an Aptera over a Tesla. So, originally, <clears throat> I was planning on getting a Cybertruck. Uh, when they first revealed the Cybertruck, I was super excited about it. Super cool car. Um, especially with that starting price point. Uh, they were starting off with 40000 for the base model. And it was an extremely rugged truck. I've never owned a truck before. And, um, you know, super excited of finally owning one. One reason why I never purchased a truck growing up was um, just the fuel cost was just way too expensive. And uh, with electric powertrain, um, it makes it more reasonable um, if efficiency is what you're looking for and you're more interested in efficiency. Well, when the Cybertruck came out, um, I was in between moving. <clears throat> so I didn't really put down a pre-order in the beginning, which, you know, if, if you know, the pre-orders are through the roof now. Um, so at the time I was thinking about it last year, I was like, well, there's only two vehicles I'd want to get right now for my first electric vehicle. And I was either to go with the Tesla Cybertruck or to go with an Aptera. And um, after weighing everything out, um, I decided that the best option would be to go with an Aptera. Um, reason why, um, one, it's a lot more affordable than a Tesla is, uh, any of the models, um, especially with the Cybertruck right now, they're talking about doing a dual motor now instead of a single motor, so you're no longer going to get that base price anymore, they're going to bump up that price now to what the two motor variant was, um, and with this vehicle, um, the starting price I believe was at 25, 25 per starting, um, and, uh, yeah, that, that price was, um, just more realistic for me of what I could afford, you know, for a first electric vehicle. Um, I did like that they offered, uh, solar on the vehicle. Um, this is probably going to be, like, America's first, you know, solar-powered vehicle. It's, it's electric, but you also get some solar juice put back into the battery every day. Um, and they have like a wide range of mileage options. Um, you can do anywhere from 250 mile option, battery option, all the way to a thousand, um, depending on how much you want to spend on your Aptera. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go over, uh, what I decided to go with as far as options, uh, for my vehicle. Um, show you guys what I decided on picking. Um, I did put in my pre-order when they were like about a, around 11,000 pre-orders. Um, so they don't have estimates of when the vehicles are going to be getting shipped yet. They just say 2023, 2024. Um, they did state in a uh, video meeting that they want to do 400 uh, mile range vehicles first. Um, and they also want to do customers that are located in California. Which, lucky me, I'm in California, so um, hopefully that might kind of push me up a little bit further up on the list uh, to getting my vehicle. Definitely probably won't get like a first, you know, the first thousand that they're talking about this year. Because um, those are probably going to be for all the people that put in for reservations from day one. Um, I put in a year ago. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll go over all my options that I chose for my vehicle. Um, and then, um, I'll show you what the base one would look like, and then all the additional extras that don't affect the vehicle's performance. Um, and then at the end, um, I'm gonna, uh, reveal my, uh, referral code in case any of you are interested in getting an Aptera, uh, for yourself. They are giving a referral promotion right now. Um, the people that issue referrals get a thousand off their vehicle. And uh, the people that take the referral code to use for their own order will get 30 bucks off. So, you know, kind of like getting your first or second, you know, charges on the house taken off the vehicle pretty much. So starting at the very beginning, um, first thing they give you is options for colors. I chose the sole white. Um, reason is, is because even though it's a white color option, the top is black. Um, I like that it was like a black and white kind of mix. Uh, it's a pretty cool look for the vehicle. Um, also, these pictures here, um, they've redesigned the vehicle slightly. There's a video on their website where they change the shape down here as well as uh, change the shape 
in this uh, rear view light uh, to try to increase a little bit more efficiency of the vehicle. Um, but yeah, I chose the white, um, but they have other options. They have uh, uh, silver or gray, kind of a grayish silver, um, and then they have a pure black. They do have a custom color, but they haven't really talked about what they're going to do for custom colors. Um, but that one is like a $1,500 option. Um, if you go with any of the other colors, those are all free options right there. Um, and if you're curious, my price for my vehicle, they start at about $25. But with all the options I chose, I'm looking at about $34,500 for my vehicle. <laughs> all right, so going down next, uh, your next option is going to be your range. So, like I said, 25.9 for that 250-mile range. Uh, for the 400-mile range, you're looking at 29.800. The 600-mile range, you're looking at 34.600. And then the 1,000-mile range, you're looking at 44.900. Now, this one's got the biggest jump. You're looking at like a $10,000 jump. I mean, if you got the money and you can afford it, do it. But with the solar that comes in the vehicle... Personally, I feel the most practical is 600. Any of these three are the most practical uh, for every day. Uh, this one's kind of just if you're going to road trip it and you're going to be going like crazy long distances and you don't want to stop often, then maybe you might want it for that. But in all honesty, this vehicle is a high efficiency vehicle. It's not really a road trip vehicle. So in my personal opinion, I think the 1,000 miles is kind of overkill. But there might be some people out there that might want that. You know, they might want to, they might love their Terra so much, they're retired, they want to travel, and they might want to go a thousand miles. So, you know, kudos to them if they want to do that. Now, what will help get you probably a vehicle sooner, possibly, is picking the 400 mile option one, because they said that they are going to be producing a bunch of those ones first. Um, but there's going to be other key factors, um, like they've talked about uh, the full solar panel option which I'm going to go over in a minute that one they said that um, uh, that one's probably going to come later uh, they only have from the, from the test models that I've seen they've only had the solar panels on just the body but not the actual window that's probably going to come later we haven't seen that in any other test models yet um, next option is going to be your solar power option so this window right here shows solar panel power um, option right here and um, depending on which option you go with is how many solar panels you're going to get in your car now the starting off one is going to be this is included if you do a uh, solar roof and the dash so that's the dashboard inside the car and then your roof all that terra is going to come with solar it's now this is the bare bones solar so you're probably going to get like just a few miles I think up right here it says yeah 16 miles a day on a nice sunny bright day you're going to get 16 miles a day for free on your price. Um, now if you upgrade to the solar hood option that one throws some extra panels here in the hood and you're looking at about 22 miles a day on a you know ideal sunny day. Uh, next is going to be the solar rear hatch so instead of giving you the hood you're now going to have the hatch solar. That one's a $600 option um, but that one gets you 34 miles a day and the reason you're getting a lot more from the, the, the uh, tail versus the roof is it's a bigger area so they're going to be able to give you more more juice for that tail area now one thing to note with that with that rear rear window one a lot of people might get put off by that one because you are going to get reduced visibility in that rear uh window um me personally i hardly ever use my rear view uh mirror or look in the back but some people like to do that you know so if you're the type of person that doesn't like your view obstructed from the back window then you might want to go with probably the next best one would be the solar hood option because then that gets you everything as far as the front but leaves out the back. Um, and the back one's also the one that they're saying is going to cause some delays for some customers, possibly me as well because I want to get that, the, the one I want. The one I want is all panels. I'm getting all the panels all the way around front to back and that's going to get you a maximum of about 40 miles a day um, of charge on your vehicle. And for me, like a lot of people are like, oh, 40 miles isn't a lot. But for me, um, anything that I can get for free helps me out. I do a lot of commuting. Uh, my, my job requires me to do a lot of driving. I do about roughly um, 100 miles plus a day. It's usually 50 miles for me to get to my, my job and then 50 miles for me to get back home. Sometimes it's a little bit more if uh, the locations that they need me to go to require me to drive further away from the shop. So 
Um, yeah, I do a lot of driving, so any extra fuel I can get in this vehicle will help me out. And it's free because it's solar, you know, you're getting solar from the sun, so it's not going to cost me anything to get that extra juice. So halfway through the day, it sits, you know, where I work, and I come back to it, and I might get, like, for half of the day, 20 miles out of, of extra juice. You know, that helps to shave off of that 100-mile trip that I have to do every day. If I'm running low on juice, that might give me that extra little bit to get me back home at the end of the day, and I don't have to stop to charge. I can make it all the way back home and charge. So those are all the solar options. <clears throat> Next, it's going to ask you for uh, powertrain options. Now, the front-wheel drive is included in the vehicle. Um, that's going to give you two motors in the front of the vehicle. Um, this is kind of cut off right here, but it's the two front wheels. Because this is a three-wheel vehicle, you've got two wheels in the front and one in the back. Now, the front-wheel drive option gives, is included in the price, so that's no additional charge for that. Um, and that's two electric motors. You're looking at a 0 to 60, about 5.5 seconds, which is as fast as a base Model 3. So, for at the base price of... 25.9, that's ha like a fraction of the price of what a Tesla would be. Um, and you're, you're going to be able to go just as fast as a Tesla. Now handling, they've done some testing on test tracks and they said it's, the stability is good for a three-wheel vehicle, but it's probably not going to handle as perfectly as a Tesla. I'm going to be honest, four wheels are always going to handle better than three wheels. Um, but for a straight line, you're going to be almost just as fast as a Tesla, uh, base model Tesla, uh, with this standard range. Now if you do the all-wheel drive system, which I like to put quotations and say performance. It's not really, they don't call it performance, but it's performance because you're getting an extra motor in the back. So now you have a motor in all three wheels, and it also decreases your 0 to 60. So now you're doing 3.5 seconds. And that's just 0.5 seconds slower than a performance Model 3. And like you saw my price, 34500 that's half the price of what a performance Model 3 is. So you're getting a car that's almost as fast as a performance for half the price, which is huge savings, uh, especially with how expensive these electric cars are. So next option from that is going to be the interior. Um, in this one, I chose this kind of gray and black kind of, with this wood trim finish on the inside. Now they have changed the interior a little bit. They decided to go with a more yoke style, kind of like Tesla with the wheel. So they chopped off the top of it right here, but you still get the bottom to hold on to, and, this, and it wraps around to the side. Um, from what I've seen from uh, the new render pictures. Uh, they also changed the uh, um, new center console right here. They're changing the design of that. They want to implement a cup holder. Because I did get to go to, um, they had like a little event where, you know, uh, all the uh, people that, you know, got in on the reservations early. Um, they had us come into their facility and take a look at uh, one of their prototypes. We didn't get to test drive it, but we got to take a look at it, sit inside of it. And one thing I noticed that was missing was cup holders, um, which is a bummer, you know. But they're planning on including it into the center console. So I think they're going to make this center console smaller and do cup holders around here. Um, but you have different interior options. So that's this is the one I'm choosing to go with. You have this um, more darker one uh, with some blue accents um, where it's more of like a black, some light grays in some spots. You lose that like kind of wood color finish right here in the middle. And then the third one is kind of more of an orange, if you like sporty. They got some bronze where the metal finishes are in some places, um, more of a sporty look. They will also have a custom one. Um, that one's going to be a $900 option, but they haven't shown anything of what those are going to look like, what colors you're going to be able to choose. So that's kind of up in the air right now. But the other three colors are all going to be um, uh, uh, included in the price. <clears throat> Um, after you've picked all of those, um, battery, which is 400 miles, um, 0 to 63.5 with the powertrain it shows, and then the solar, which is the 400 miles, the last thing you get is it's going to tell you save and continue, and then it's going to ask you if you want any um, non-cosmetic extras. Well, they're kind of cosmetic, but they're just extras that don't incorporate with performance or, or how the vehicle drives. So the only addition I chose was a safety pilot, which gets you level two autonomy. Um, you know, it's not as good as what Tesla's doing right now, but you know, it's kind of like a cruise control that follows. <clears throat> so you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have that lane keep, and it's gonna keep you in that lane. Um, you know, I have cruise control in my current vehicle, but it's not uh, adaptive cruise. So you know, I have to 
pay attention to everything, break, if, you know, they start breaking, go if they start going, you know, it's not going to do any of that for me. So it'd be nice to have that because it's kind of like a little bit of an extra, you know, one less thing I have to worry about, like keeping on the pedal all the time, back and forth, back and forth. Um, they do have an enhanced audio. I didn't choose that one. Oh, the safety pilot, the, you know, the level two uh, cruise control is 13. Um, the enhanced audio, that one's a $600 option. And I didn't go with that one because I'm just not a big audiophile. I don't really, like, you know, care that much about music. Music's kind of like an afterthought for me. It's nice to have music, but the car's going to come with some audio. It's just if you want really high-quality audio, audio is an extra $600. I don't really need the extra audio. I'm, I'm more about a performance and how the car drives and being in the experience. So that's not really for me, but it might be for someone else. Um, the camping kit, um, that one's a $600 option, and they show it right here. You're going to get a canopy right here. And um, they've actually had people lay in the back of the trunk of the car. The, the trunk is long enough where someone can actually lay in the back of it. Two people. Not comfortably two people, but two people can lay in the back of that car. Um, and camp in the car if they wanted to. So you get that little canopy if you, so you can have room in the back. Um, me personally, I'm not planning on camping in this. If I was to go camping, it'd be in a truck or I'd just pop, pitch a tent somewhere. But, you know, for some of those people that, you know, do a lot of traveling, you know, they, they don't want to carry a tent with them, but they want to be able to, like, utilize their car as a tent, might be a good option for them for that. It's only $600, which is about the cost of a tent, so not crazy expensive. The pet kit... I don't have any dogs right now currently. One day I hope to have a dog. Um, that one is a $300 option, and that gives you a divider, so it keeps your dog secure in the back of the car. Um, and then there's an off-road kit, which they haven't shown any pictures for that yet, but it's going to give more ground clearance. I guess they're going to find a way to make the vehicle raise up a little bit more. And then it's also going to give you more durable covers, um, you know, so if it bumps into, like, rocks and stuff like that, it's probably going to be more durable. I'm guessing it's probably going to be, like, some type of, like, rigid plastic instead of like a painted finish for those uh, covers for the wheels uh, just to make it more resistant to damage and be more durable but in all honesty i personally feel like this isn't an off-road vehicle if you want an off-road vehicle get like a ford maverick you know that that vehicle's an actual truck uh it's kind of more designed for that but you know to each their own if you want to do that it's a thousand dollar option for that one all right and then finally um i'm gonna show you guys my referral code um, if anyone is interested in using my referral. So my referral code is right here. And like I said, pretty much uh, right now the referral code, when I first got into Aptera, they didn't have, well, they had a referral code, but they didn't offer any, you know, any benefits. But now they're offering $30 off to anybody who, uh, you know, uses the referral, and I get $1,000 off my vehicle. Um, and then I believe um, once you get 26 referrals, uh, they claim that that scores you a free Aptera. I'm assuming that's probably a free base Aptera. Um, that's not um, incorporating the extras and stuff like that. So they're probably not going to include the extras. You're probably going to pay out of pocket for those things, plus taxes. Um, but yeah, uh, I kind of wanted to like throw in a little extra bonus for this referral. Um, because I'm just super excited for this vehicle, you know, and, um, you know, I, I used to follow Tesla since the very beginning. They had referral codes and stuff for their, uh, vehicles, and I thought it was so cool that, you know, they have referrals, you get to, like, take people on joy rides and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool, so I really want to experience that myself. I've always been kind of, it's been out of my budget to afford a Tesla, but this car is more doable for me. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping with the money I save with the solar and all that, it's going to be able to help me save up so I can get a truck later. I'm not going to be getting a cyber truck anytime soon, but, you know, maybe I might be able to get a cyber truck later down the road. But, um, what I want to do, um, for this referral, for anyone that uses my referral, um, you know, up to the referral limit, I, I think it's 26, it might go more than that, but, um, for every person that lives in California that wants to use my referral, when my vehicle comes in, because you're going to be getting in, they're not like 25,000 reservations. Um, so it's probably going to be even further for anyone getting in now to, to get the car. You know, you're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer. Probably the end of next year. Maybe the beginning of next year. Uh, but they're planning on ramping up really quickly. Uh, they, they just uh, opened up a, a warehouse um, facility where they're going to be building the cars. 
So they're, they're, they're definitely coming along, um, which is nice to see. And they've made prototypes, and they're working prototypes. They're running. I've seen videos where they're running. It, I, I strongly feel this is going to happen. You know, a lot of people are thinking that this was kind of vaporware because, you know, it's like a bunch of, like, smoke and mirrors. But they're, they're showing videos now of these cars being put together. They're doing testing on everything. It, it's coming together very nicely. So I, I feel very strongly that for sure they're going to be doing this. This is still, like, you know, a risk that you're taking by doing a, you know, reservation for this vehicle. But it's only $100 down just to put yourself in line um, and, you know, possibly get your opportunity to get this vehicle. Um, two, this vehicle might not be for everyone. One thing I didn't get a chance to mention this is going to be a two-seater vehicle. Um, so this is going to be a little bit more convenient than a motorcycle. I used to own a motorcycle. But, um, you know, this is a two-seater. So it's just going to be you and one friend. And that's it. You're not going to be able to take your whole posse with you or your family or if you have, like, a bunch of kids. This isn't going to be that vehicle for you. But if you want a vehicle that you're just going to be taking yourself to and from work or just running little errands, this is, like, ten times better than, like, a Nissan Leaf. Or any of those other vehicles that had, you know, very low range. The starting range is 250 miles on this thing. So, that's enough for anybody. You know, anybody should be able to live with 250 miles of range. I do a lot of driving, a lot more than most other people. Like an hour to work and an hour back, hour and a half sometimes. And that's a lot of driving. And I don't even go through that much. It's, it's usually 100 miles of fuel I'm going through a day. So, at 250 miles... As long as you're charging up every night, you can keep it at that 250, you know, maybe get down to 100 or something like that. Um, but I just want a little bit of extra cushion, so I went with the 400 one. Um, but anyways, the referral code's right here at the bottom. Um, I am going to make a copy of this and post it on the um, comment section down below. Um, but what I want to do is a bonus. Um, if you do use my referral code, um, and then you notify me that you use my referral code and send me an email... Uh, so I can keep in contact with you. If you live in California, I'd like to give uh, a free test drive for each person that used my referral code in California. Now, I'm only doing California because I do have a regular Monday through Friday job. I can't travel far to, you know, people that are out of state. This is too much driving for me. I won't be able to get back home in time to get back to my day-to-day -day job. But if you live in California... You know, with the with the range I'm going to be saving with the solar, be happy to come out to you and let you test drive my car, you know, for like an hour or two. Um, so uh, I, I will do this for every single person up to the maximum number of people that live in California that want to take advantage of, um, you know, getting a test drive with me. And you'll get to see what it's like to be in the performance one, because um, that's what I'm choosing. So you get to you get to experience a performance vehicle. Um, you know, if you want to try out the lane, keep assist to let you try that out. Um, you know, check it out and see how my model 